We continue reading from Chaitanya Charitamrita Adi Lila, chapter 4, text 1. Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Advaita Chandra Jaya Gaura Bhatta Vinda Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Advaita Chandra Jaya Gaura Bhatta Vinda Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Advaita Chandra Jaya Gaura Bhatta Vinda Shri Chaitanya Prasadena Tadrupasya Minirnayam Balo Apikurute Shastram Drishtva Vijavila Sinaha By the mercy of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, even a foolish child can fully describe the real nature of Lord Krishna, the enjoyer of the pastimes of Raj, according to the vision of the revealed scriptures. Wow, you know, it's so difficult to know Krishna. You know, people take millions of lives. Once you start reading the Vedas, you know, we can just get so muddled up that what the Vedic hymns are trying to tell us. We can just get so middle, muddled up in that and it can take us millions and millions of lives. It's not easy to understand Krishna. But here, because of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy, it's his mercy, yeah, it's his mercy that today we are able to sit here chant the holy name, uh, hear Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavatam, you know, it's because of his mercy. Now, what is, what, just imagine the extent of his mercy. Even a foolish child, means a child, he's not learned all the Vedas, so he does not have that gyan, right? Or what is all the Vedas supposed to be about the gyan, the knowledge, he doesn't have. But he can fully describe the real nature of Lord Krishna. So, because what is the essence of all the Vedas? What is all the Gyan all about? What is the Vedanta, the end of knowledge? The end of all the Gyan is Krishna's to Bhagwan Swayam. It's like Krishna is the Supreme Lord. And that we have an eternal loving relationship with Krishna. So, even a child who does not know anything by the mercy of Lord Chaitanya can describe the real nature of Lord Krishna. Oh, I know Krishna. I know, I know. He was somebody, you know, he was born in, you know, he was born in Gokul, right? I think his mother was Yashoda or Nanda. And yeah, I yeah, know he used to play. He had many girlfriends and he used to play the fool. And, you know, he did a lot of thief. I think he was a butter thief. But that's not really knowing Krishna, you know. That's, oh, yeah. We think we know, we know. We think he's our next door neighbor, you know. We think Krishna is our next door boy. But that's not the real nature of Krishna. Huh? That's not that's not the real position of Krishna. That's not really understanding Krishna. But, but by the mercy of Lord Chaitanya, we are trying to understand who Krishna really is. Oh, he's the supreme absolute truth. He's the supreme personality of God. And so even a child can describe the real nature of Lord Krishna. Who is he? The enjoyer of the pastimes of Raj enjoyer of the pastimes of Raj. And all this, not just the child is making up anything, but it's all according to the vision of the revealed scriptures. Means it's all authentic. It's all, uh, what, what do you say? Authentic, according to the revealed scriptures. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I'm a doctor. I picked up something and I learned something from somebody and then I call myself a doctor just because the group of people I think they are doctors, so I join them and they call themselves doctors, so I call them doctors. But that means I'm not a really a doctor, right? But if I go to a proper school, I learn from the textbooks that university is authorized by the Board of Education to give me the degree of a doctor, I get certified, then I, my knowledge is that of a doctor. So imagine that even a child can get, get that knowledge of all the Vedas. And that is Lord Krishna. One can ascertain the meaning of this Sanskrit shloka only when one is endowed with the causeless mercy of Lord Chaitanya. Wow, we need to beg the mercy of Lord Chaitanya. Then we will be able to understand what, what is being trying to say. You know, we really need to beg his mercy. Lord Sri Krishna being the absolute personality of Godhead cannot be exposed to the mundane instruments of vision. You know, we do we like to speak about ourselves to, to reveal our, our true self to people who really don't like us, who really don't want to know us, 
who really just want to speculate, you know, you know, some, have you all had that experience? I don't know. I, I've had it. I think most of us would have had that experience, right? You don't know, want to really know me. You're just thinking who I am. So you can continue thinking whatever you want. Why should I even tell you who I am? You're not interested. Krishna is the same. He's a supreme person. He has the same attitude. So he cannot be exposed just by, the, uh, the, by just somebody, I want to see. What is there? I want to see God. You say, for what? You don't really want to know me. Do you really want to know me? No, you just want me for entertainment. I'm, why should I be your, your uh, what? Uh, I'm not your entertainer, you know? So he reserves the right not to be exposed by the intellectual feats of non-devotees. He's completely independent. Nobody can force Krishna to do anything. He's Abhigya Swarad. The, he's independent. We are dependent. We are always dependent. We are dependent on Krishna and here in the material world, we are dependent on parents, family, friends, the social system, the police. If we say, no, I'm not dependent. No, we need the security, the, the, you know, the whole system. But Krishna, he's totally independent. And then if somebody really does not want to know him, he is not going to reveal himself. He will say, you can think whatever you like to think, whoever is the absolute truth. Good luck to you. Notwithstanding this truth, even a small child can easily understand Lord Krishna and his transcendental pastimes in the land of Vrindavan by the grace of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So what is Lord Chaitanya doing? You know, we don't have the qualification to, to understand Krishna. We do not have the real heart. We do not have the love. But what is he doing? He is bringing Krishna and giving us to him. Krishna, who is saying, I'm not going to be exposed to anyone. Why should I tell you who I am? Why should I reveal my real nature to you? I reserve the right. I will just expose myself to my loving devotees, those who come to me in love. Only them I can tell about myself. But what is Lord Chaitanya doing? He's so merciful to us. He's like these Kali Yuga people. How will they ever know Krishna then? He's giving us Krishna openly. You know, he's begging us, take Krishna, begging us. Here, here, take love of Krishna. Here, understand Krishna. Because Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, one who understands my uh, activities and nature does not need to come back in this material world. Goes back, back home, back to Godhead. Is liberated, mukti, moksha, immediately, just by understanding Krishna. But not understanding Krishna that he is just a butter thief, but understanding him in truth. And that's Lord Chaitanya is giving us. We don't have to go anywhere. We do not have to go to far away places, take on, you know, a journey, difficult journey, waste a lot, you know, with a lot of physical endeavor. Like some places of pilgrimages are really very difficult to go. But we do not have to do any yagyas, tapasyas. No, what we do? We just chant Hare Krishna. Understanding it's the mercy of Lord Chaitanya. That's all. Because who are we, you know? What qualification do we have? No qualification. We are Kalyug people. Always quarrelsome. Always quarrelsome. Lives are short. Then mentally disturbed. Uh, always unlucky. Misguided. You know how much misguided... Like we have so much misconceptions in our, in our mind, you know, and yet, yet Lord Chaitanya is so merciful. It's because of his mercy that we are getting an opportunity to understand who's Krishna. So we should be truly grateful to him, have that gratitude, grab to his lotus feet. By Lord Chaitanya's mercy, we will understand Krishna. He is giving us Krishna. You know, so and in his mood, in his mood, give Krishna to others, ask others to chant Hare Krishna. In his mood, on his order, it's Lord Chaitanya's order. You know, on his order, I'm doing a service for Lord Chaitanya if I'm asking somebody to chant Hare Krishna, whether they take it up or no, that's their choice. We can't force anyone, but we inform them. But 
we just have to understand, we have to realize, realize that it is Lord Chaitanya's mercy. Otherwise, we are not qualified to be able to, to hear what we are hearing. Chant the Hare Krishna mantra. It's all his mercy. Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Advaita Chandra Jaya Gaura Bhakta Vinda. All glory to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. All glory to Lord Nityananda. All glory to Sri Advaita Acharya. And all glory to all the devotees of Lord Chaitanya. Any comments or questions? Any clarifications or anything to add? If no, then so how stop. can we? I'm sorry. So how yes. can we? So how can we please Lord Chaitanya? Chant Hare Just Krishna. By chanting? Okay. Yes, the easiest way. Chant Hare Krishna. That's the easiest way to please Lord Chaitanya. He's very happy. And let others chant Hare Krishna. <clears throat> you know, because it's so simple, we are like ah, scratching our heads. You mean we can get the perfection of life just by chanting Hare Krishna? How can it be so easy? Are you trying to cheat me? Is there some, some, something involved here? You know, you're trying to trap me. You're telling me it's so easy and then it's going to be very difficult. You know, we, we, we think, right? We think something which is easy is not worth it. It's a useless thing, but this is something very difficult to get. Oh, it's going to be worth it. I don't know if you all have that experience or that kind of a belief, but we do all have it. Something which is difficult to get, we value it very long, very much. But something which is easy given to us, ah, it's free. Nah? I can get it anytime. We find no value in it, you know, because it's given to us for free. But here, Lord Chaitanya is giving us the highest thing for free. You know, the, 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 to understand God, to understand ourselves, to understand our love for God, to go back home home, back to God, it's all very easy for us in this Kalyuk. We just have to chant Hare Krishna. We do not have to take up any kind of difficult austerities, difficult penances, difficult, uh, you know, to spend a lot of money. No, no, just chant Hare Krishna and get the perfection of human life. And we, yeah, that's all, you know. Is that okay? Hopefully. Yes, yes, it's perfectly fine. Okay, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you so yeah. much for thank joining you. in today. Chaitanya Charitamrita Ki Chesla Prabhupada Ki Chai Gaur Hari Bol Hare Krishna.